That should be quite cool for vlogging my shoots with. Good. Good morning, welcome to vlog. I don't know, what are we on now? We're back to weekly vlogs and I think it might be 24. Anyway, <coughs> it's a Thursday, that's all I know. Um, so we are off to a shoot today in Kent for a young lady named Abby. Um, I believe it's her birthday today. Um, so her mum's booked her the shoot for on her actual birthday, which is quite nice. Um, I've done a couple of those before, so we'll make her feel nice and special for her birthday. Um, I'm not sure how old she is, but we will find out when we get there. Um, I've had one of those mornings today, you know when you just can't make yourself look right? My skin's really bad, despite the fact that I'm, like, drinking green tea like it's going out of fashion, drinking water and eating healthily. But I think sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. Um, so I'm going through that right now. I also did a really stupid thing. So where my decorations were along my fireplace, uh, they were really glittery. And obviously we've wiped it down after we put the decorations away, but you know what glitter's like, you just can't get rid of it. I put all my makeup brushes down in the glitter, in the remaining glitter. So I don't know if you can see, yeah, a little bit, a bit on my lip. Look, I have glitter everywhere. So that was a bit stupid of me. Anyway, gonna get going. Um, I've got a new little device on my camera, um, which I don't really know how I'm gonna show you. I know, I'll film it with my phone. Um, and it allows me to put my vlogging camera on top of my DSLR so that when I'm photographing you can see exactly what I'm looking at. Um, usually I put it on a tripod uh, just sort of next to me. Um, I might do a bit of that as well but it just means that we can get a little bit of a variation and you can have a like my point of view at my shoots. Just thought that was quite cool. But Just filming this with my phone to try and show you exactly what I mean. So hopefully that should be quite cool for vlogging my shoots with. It's just a little device that Sam bought me. Hmm. Very clever. slightly this way for me so just push her bum a little bit that way that's it down a little bit so just put it, maybe pretend you've got something in your hand or
was such a lovely shoot. Um, so it was actually Abby's 18th birthday today. Um, so that's so lovely that um, they wanted to have the shoot today and we had the perfect evening for it, afternoon evening for it. Um, the sun was just going down and hopefully you kind of got that on the video. It was just so beautiful and Abby's horse Lola was a superstar. She loved the camera, um, which always makes my job easy. So... Yeah, that was a really good shoot. Um, I've just driven home. Well, not home. I'm at Nat's house now. Um, I haven't seen Nat since before Christmas. So I'm going to go and have a cup of... I was going to say a cup of tea, but a cup of green tea or lemon water or something because I'm not drinking tea at the moment. Shock horror. We're on a health kick. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and have a cup of something. Water of some description with her now and catch up because I feel like there's probably a lot to, we have a lot to talk about anyway even when we see each other every day so I'm sure we're gonna have a lot to chat about today good morning <coughs> <coughs> it's Sunday today and as you can hear I have not been very well um I've got a stinking cold and a very sore throat and a cough which has been fun I mean, just what you want in the new year. So anyway, so I've been on the sofa and in bed for the past two days. Um, and actually, I have a little confession. I wasn't sure whether to put this on the vlog or not, but I put all the good stuff on and, you know, I don't always get everything right. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And not everything always goes right. So I thought I would also put this on because, you know, there are ups and downs in this job. So on Friday... <coughs> on Friday I was really pleased that I had a free day because I felt like this and I just wanted to put my fluffy socks on make a cup of tea and lay under the duvet and then I went to sleep um, after Sam went to work and I didn't wake up I'm trying to get rid of that light I didn't wake up until about um, one o'clock I think in the afternoon and had loads of missed calls didn't really think anything of it, just thought maybe someone would try and be trying to get hold of me and was insistent. Turns out I was supposed to have a shoot and I'd put it in my diary for the wrong date. I'd put it in for February the 6th rather than January the 6th um, and completely missed it. To make matters worse, it was a remember me shoot. Oh God, I've never felt so bad. So I got in touch with the lady um, and we've rebooked for today. Um, which is why I'm off out to a shoot sounding like this. Um, but yeah, so I was very apologetic and, you know, it, uh, I just felt awful. And I think if I hadn't been feeling so crap, I might have been like, I'm sure you're supposed to have a shoot Friday, but I was just so pleased to have the day off that, and be able to, like, hide under my duvet that I just didn't even think about it. I... <coughs> moved everything around for today to fit her in as soon as possible and we're going to do the shoot today so I just thought I would kind of let you know because you know it's not all rosy and lovely doing this job there are things that go wrong and that's one of them <coughs> I haven't made this mistake since like my first year doing this job I'm usually very good at putting things in my diary so whoops oah oh my goodness so that wore me out <laughs> I didn't film on the shoot um, because obviously it was a remember me shoot so it's always a little bit difficult and sensitive anyway um, also the lady doesn't have Facebook so she kind of hasn't seen what I do with vlogs and stuff and I didn't really want to explain it and it just didn't feel appropriate but um, it was actually a lovely, lovely shoot, um, and I will try and insert some images just to show you what we got. Uh, Stevie the horse is so handsome, and Michelle was really nervous, um, and the whole time she was like, are you sure we've got nice pictures, are you sure we've got nice pictures? And I was like, yes, honestly, like I do this quite a lot, <laughs> and he was just beautiful, and so was she. So, you know, we've got some lovely ones, so I'll insert those here. I 
I'm off home now and I'm supposed to be meeting Sam and Laura for my cousin who lives in Devon um, is up for the weekend and I'm supposed to be meeting them for lunch. Um, I can't decide whether to go or not because obviously I feel rubbish. Sam's a singer so um, doesn't really want to get any germs. Um, so I'm going to give him a ring now and decide whether we go ahead or not. So yeah, but I'm off home. Say hello, Laura. Say hello. I just had an eye bogey. <laughs> <laughs> Charming. How, how are you asking the vlog how they are? Yeah. How are you? Oh, how are you? Like it's so rude. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. so rude. <laughs> we'll, wait, we'll, we'll wait for the comments. Yeah. Okay. In the comments, tell Sam how you are. How you are. <laughs> just got home, <laughs> and I'm very tired. And Barney's helping me, so I left Big Sam. Um, in town because he's meeting his he's meeting his friend Tim um, to talk about stag do stuff and I don't know um, and me and Barney are going to have a cosy evening in look at this dog honestly could you be any more daft what are you doing Why are you crying? Sit, stay. Say hello to the vlog. What? What, what are you looking at? What is it? What's that? He's such an idiot. We're gonna have a quiet evening in. I'm gonna catch up on Celebrity Big Brother. Um, so I only started watching this. I don't know. I I've watched a couple of Celebrity Big Brothers, but I wasn't didn't really hadn't really intended to watch this one. But um, I don't know if you saw. Oh, I've gone out of focus. All the rumours about my brother going in the house, but they were everywhere. The amount of people that messaged me asking if Sam was going into Big Brother, and he never said that he was. He never hinted that he was. Um, I don't know where they got it from, but he is actually talking to Big Brother about going in next year. So I don't know whether Big Brother released that or or not next year, like later on in the year. Um, but I don't know whether Big Brother released that and just kind of to see if people would like him to go in. But I don't know. All the newspapers picked it up and it went a bit crazy. So because of that, I kind of got a bit curious about who was going in because I knew Sam wasn't, obviously. Um... Although there was a point where, when he was still down in Devon doing his pantomime, dog, you're going to fall. Um, I wasn't sure, and I rang him and I was like, you would tell us, right? Like, I'm not going to be sitting there watching the, um, what do you call it, the launch night, and suddenly you just turn up. <laughs> but even on the launch night, so he didn't deny that he was going in. He didn't deny... Yeah, that he was going in because it was all good PR and he was like, well, I'm not going to say yes, but I'm not going to say no. Um, so even on launch night, he had kind of told people he wasn't and stuff and they were tweeting him going, just seen a cheeky little shot of your mum and dad in um, the crowd. And <laughs> Sam's texting my mum going, mum, where are you? <laughs> she was out for dinner, not at Big Brother. So, um, so yeah, because of that, that was a very long winded way of telling you I've kind of got into this year's Big Brother's. So yeah, it's been a good and a bad first week of the new year. I mean, it's not ideal that I haven't been very well, but I did have two really lovely shoots. Um, so yeah, just roll with the punches. So, I'm going to sneeze. It's gone. Um... I'm actually feeling a lot better. I think um, the being outside kind of did me good. <laughs> I th it made me cough a lot when I was actually outside, but afterwards I kind of felt a little bit more um, cleared up, which, you know, it's lovely. But i just eaten this. The whole packet. So I guess we could call today a cheat day. <laughs> I was quite good at lunch. I had a halloumi and... Um, hummus burger with red pepper which you know isn't like super skinny but it wasn't a beef burger so I thought I was being good and then Sam has left me in on my own on a Sunday night 
and this happened. Oops. Never mind, you know, we gotta live our lives, right? Guys, things have gone drastically downhill since the chocolates. So, um, I don't really know what, what happened here, but my mum made this hot chocolate for Christmas um, and we never ended up having any. So she sent me home with a box full of it. Um, and we had some just before the end of the new year, the old year. Sorry, my milk is going crazy. Um, and I'm having some of that. We're, and I've even got these little marshmallows, which do you know what I'm just gonna have? I'm not even feeling bad. But we've gone from drinking this every day, good old green tea, to drinking really naughty hot chocolate today. So my body is gonna be like, um, actually, well, I've been drinking green tea and my body isn't thanking me for it, so maybe it's like, ah, oh, bring back the hot chocolate. But you know, this has turned into my cheat day, so I might as well have it, and then tomorrow we're back on the diet. made my hot chocolate. Do you like my mug? <laughs> I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm probably gonna go and put my pyjamas on and settle down for the night. I've got some work to do. I can't be decide whether I'm gonna do that now or do that tomorrow. I have got the whole day indoors tomorrow so I might do it tomorrow and just chill out now. Um, so yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't a super exciting vlog. I did have more planned but um then was struck down by this awful plague. Um, it's pretty much a common cold, but you know. Um, but yeah, obviously, so obviously everything went out the window. Um, but hopefully next week will be, I mean, no, I'm lying. Next week won't be exciting. December was so manic that January has to be a quiet month because A, I can't afford to do much, and B, I don't have the energy. So it's going to be a couple of quiet vlogs, but hopefully um, you still enjoyed watching Abby and Lola's shoot and the results of Michelle and Stevie's shoot today. Um, and it wasn't too dull for you, but I will make more effort next week, I promise. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I will be super grateful and like the video, leave a comment if you fancy it answer Sam's question about how are you in the comments. I will see you next Monday for another weekly vlog. Bye!